Hi guys, it's Kimberly. So I wanted to do a quick little update on Caleb. Um, last night, whenever I had given him his bath, I noticed on his hand and wrist he had these two round circles um, that were never there before. It almost looked as if it was a mosquito bite, um, but that wasn't what it was because it had a blistery look to it, like it was a blister. Um, kind of like if you get splattered with grease or something. And um, so I didn't pay no attention to it. I thought, well, we'll just see if it goes away overnight. You know, I'll put him down for bed and see what it looks like in the morning. Well, woke up this morning, and while I was changing his diaper, I took a look at it and noticed that it had gotten bigger in size overnight and a lot redder. So I did some research on the Internet, and um, I looked up uh, skin rashes that babies can get. And it's, it's very uncommon in babies to catch this under um, two years of age, but it is possible. But um, it looks as if it could be ringworm. Very crazy. Um, I never would have thought in a million years my three and a half month old would have caught ringworm. So um, basically what that is, is it's just a, um, it's just a, a, like an infection of the skin. It's not an actual parasite. Um, and it normally takes about three weeks for it to go away um, with treatment. And I've actually got, um, goodness, kiddo, I've actually got some um, hydrocortisone cream that's for that kind of thing. And um, I had placed it on both of the spots and put a band-aid, as you can see, on his little wrist. So he's got two band-aids on his wrist, but that's just to keep him from putting his hands in his mouth and getting the cream in his mouth. Um, and uh, so we're going to see if that helps it within the next few weeks and if it lightens up over time and if it gets smaller. If it continues to get bigger over time, um, then that means that the cream isn't doing what it's supposed to and it could be something else or it could just be a worse case of ringworm and he may need a stronger um, cream for it. So we're going to see how that does, but um, the ways that you can catch this is, <laughs> he is spitting up something awful today. The ways that you can catch ringworm is from an infected person or an animal. Um, my son hasn't been around anybody infected with ringworm. I don't just let a stranger hold my child. Um, the only thing that I can guess is from our um, pet dog uh, because he is always licking and giving kisses and stuff. Um, so if you have a pet and you have a dog, make sure that it gets tested for that kind of thing because um, ringworms can develop into a, wor a worse case than just the regular small cases that you hear of. Um, so make sure that if you have a pet that they're not infected and they don't have it because they can spread it just from licking your baby. Um, and they can get it pretty much anywhere on their body. Um, but the best thing also to do is keep antibacterial hand wipes on hand um, when that kind of thing happens because you can just immediately wipe their hands off once the dog licks them, which is what I've always done and I just don't understand. I guess, you know, maybe there may have been a time that I didn't see the dog lick them and that's when he caught it. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Three and a half months old can catch ringworm. <laughs> Very crazy. Um, so I will keep you guys updated and let you guys know um, if it gets any better or if it doesn't or if I end up having to take him um, to get further treatment for it or if it could just possibly be something else. So um, thanks for tuning in. If y'all have any questions or comments regarding this issue, um, just post them below this video. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have and any advice is helpful. So for all you mommies out there, if you've ever had a child that has ringworm, um, you can actually go to my Facebook fan page and I'll put the picture up on there of what it looks like. Of course, you can't see it right now because i got band-aids on it, but I'll put the picture up there if you guys want to go take a look at it and um, let me know what you think. So, um, But like I said, if it gets worse within the next few days or so, I'm going to take him to his pediatrician and have it looked at and see if he needs further treatment for it or if it could just be something else. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye.